we have a slide of loose connective tissue in front of us. We have a few elastic fibers, thin thread-like structures. We have a few collagen fibers, thick threads. Few cells of connective tissue are, tissues are visible. So these are the nuclei. The cells with elongated nuclei are most probably the fibroblast which is the most important uh, cell of connective tissue which actually makes these fibers. The most prominent cell in this slide is the one that has granules around its nucleus and is an important cell of connective tissue which is involved in immune response and it is known as a mast cell. These cells are found in all connective tissues and play a vital role in immediate or hypersensitivity or inflammatory response. You'll find these cells in a number of connective tissues, especially around blood vessels, in the skin, gut, and within connective tissue of a bronchial tree in lungs. The major components and functions of these cells are similar to basophils and it is assumed that mast cells are actually derived from basophils. Basophils though predominantly are found in blood circulation and are migrated to connective tissue versus mast cells are predominantly found in connective tissue rather than in blood circulation. Mast cells are easily identified by their multiple darkly stained granules around the nuclei. Nuclei are oval shaped in contrast to the nuclei of basophils. Please note that these cells are not visible with routine stain because the granules are because the granules are water soluble. These granules have membranes around them and are released from cells by the process of exocytosis in response to allergy or inflammation. These granules contain a neurotransmitter, a chemical called histamine and a glycoprotein called heparin along with some other special chemicals. Some other chemicals are synthesized in response to release of histamine and heparin. Release of histamine as a result of degranulation of such cells initiates hypersensitivity response. Histamine is a chemical which increases permeability of blood vessels and invites white blood cells to the area of injury or inflammation and causes a smooth muscles contraction. Other chemicals formed increase the blood flow in the area of inflammation as well as the increased secretion at mucosal surfaces. As a result of actions of histamine, area gets reddish and swollen and it is the actual cause of discomfort in the area of inflammation. Histamine is synthesized from an amino acid called histidine. Most of you are probably familiar with antihistamine drugs that you take when you have common cold or running nose. Articaria and allergic rhinitis are caused by activation of mast cells and are the result of release of chemicals mentioned. Heparin is a compound which acts as an anticoagulant which means uh, they, they decrease the ability of blood to clot. Mast cells have the ability to regenerate in, in connective tissue. They are like police guards against microorganisms like bacteria and fungi. Mast cells thus play a role in pathophysiology of asthma as they are eventually responsible for constriction of smooth muscles around bronchi and bronchiole causing decrease in diameter of small airways and they also increase secretion on mucosal surfaces which often causes blockage and is responsible for lobar or segmental collapse in lungs of asthmatic people. Thank you very much.